This is the um, timeline for the new directors. You'll notice that we have green markers and red markers throughout the timeline. These are to mark the beginning of a clip and the ending of a clip. In order to place these, what you're going to do is move your blue cursor line to where you want the video to start. And yes, you should actually have a little video up there, not just, not black, so that when you go to that area, we can see exactly what's there. And then click on the green marker, which will place that here. Move the blue cursor line to the end. And before you lose your video, Park it there and select the red marker. Okay, next you'll need to open up your marker box. You go to Tools, go to Markers, and this is where you'll have all of your green and red dots with the titles for each. The next thing that you'll need will be your time code window. So go to the, uh, under Tools, go to the time code window. This is where the marker will appear, uh, the green marker will appear in your marker box. This is where the red marker will appear. When it comes up, you'll also have a space down here that will en enable you to type in a title or a name for that space for both each, uh, each green and each red mark, so you know which is which. Uh, uh, the opening of the show, the end of the opening or intro, uh, question one, then the end of question one, uh, 30 seconds for each of the projects, and these are running concurrently, uh, and then the end of the 30 seconds each, and so on down the show. Uh, best project, and uh, the end of the best project, and then the closing video for the show and the end of the closing video of the show so you know when your video runs out and when you must fade to black. So when we're ready to, to, you, to set this to the um, um, opening of the show, first place that you go is to the end of the opening. Double click the red and then you select an out point. Okay, then double click the green and what your time code window gives you uh, is the length of time. When I press the play button now, it will then count down, giving us a countdown as to how much video we have remaining. When we get to 10 seconds from the end, you call out 10 seconds, then at five you'll do a countdown. Five, of five, four, three, two, one, zero. Don't stop the Avid, but let the uh, uh, switcher then dissolve to the next video source.